Grand Hotel started about five or six years ago. We worked with a outside curator, uh, Jennifer Volan. She's an architectural historian in uh, Los Angeles, and she came to us with this idea for an exhibition that would look at the history of hotels, and specifically uh, with this idea that hotels had had a tremendous influence on the way that, in fact, we imagine ourselves in the modern world. The many innovations and ideas, ways of thinking about social arrangements, uh, culture, all came from the hotel. And she proposed an exhibition that would look at that history and show us uh, where we're at today. Travel is a, an extremely important part of the exhibition. It's actually the first section in the exhibition. So it's whether you travel by car, whether you travel by jet, or you travel by train or boat. All of those things necessitated a very different kind of hotel. So that if, when you think about the chain hotel, or that idea of a hotel that is, you know, the motel even, uh, is something that really it comes from that history. The one thing I think that, that sort of makes hotels unique and really stands out in their history is the, is the changing design and how, how that's evolved over time. If you look at hotels for the past 200 years, which is what we do in the exhibition, you begin to see that the variations in the hotel really come from a kind of a, a rethinking decade by decade almost of the idea of the hotel. I guess in the early conversations with the curators, um, what they were interested in were architectural models of 10 key hotel typologies. And they were interested in models that weren't sort of dollhouse models, but that were kind of interpretive or analytical. That was one of the most exciting and surprising parts of the exhibition for us. We had seen photographs here and there as they came in, but we, until they actually physically brought the models into the space, we really didn't know exactly what we were expecting. And just the amount of attention to detail and thought and care that really went into those models was just astounding. It seems that with hotels there's a sort of incredible liberation in design. It's kind of a space where public and private collide. Hotels have really played a very important role in, in shaping society, but also responding to social needs and interests. So one important part of the exhibition is this idea of the social. So we try to track the way that things like race, class, and gender have been formed within the spaces of the hotel. Histories and moments, the way people come together, really have been defined within the hotel spaces. It's one of the few public, private spaces in the world where change has been made. The culture section of the exhibition was actually one of the ones that I had the most fun working on. Um, it was really fun to research all the different artists and musicians and writers who had gone to hotels in order to create. We were interested in this idea that there are these places uh, around the world uh, and through the history of the hotel that have somehow nurtured and, and built artistic communities. There's been a number of hotels that have popped up that have drawn in um, creative individuals who have stayed there because the environment was so conducive to artistic production and it becomes this very stimulating um, place for artists to go to create. Painters, uh, writers, filmmakers, photographers, musicians have somehow felt comfortable, they've come together in that place and have produced some of the most extraordinary works uh, within the 20th century. The design of the exhibition was quite a collaborative process. Many members of the staff on the Vancouver Art Gallery pitched in our AV and graphics team, our um, preparators all worked on it, but we also worked with Michael Green Architecture, who designed the wall layouts and also all the interesting cardboard plinths that hold all of the materials in the show. And then we also worked with Derek Barnett of Information Office, which is a local graphic design studio, and he came up with the graphic design for the entire show. And he also worked on the book with us, so it ties in quite nicely. The exhibition began about four or five years ago in terms of sort of early work on the exhibition. The book that we produced took about two years to put it together. We started on an on-site research blog for the exhibition that started about a year and a half ago. And the planning and production of the exhibition really came down to the sort of final phases in the, in the past year. We wanted to do something that wasn't a simple document of the exhibition, but rather was stood alone by itself as another kind of thing. We worked with writers from around the world. We asked them to, to contribute to it. We got new research, new ideas. We published some older, really important stories uh, written about hotels. And we got together something I think that's totally uh, a solid book for people to really delve deep into the hotel, but also has a bit of a magazine feel, so it's kind of open and fresh. You can go from one section to another without sort of reading it from front to back. So it had a lot of the qualities that we really liked we thought would complement uh, the exhibition. 
One of the things that we noticed when we were organizing the exhibition was a number of really interesting hotels also were interested in producing design and merchandise for the hotel. And one of the places that really did that the best of all was the Ace Hotel. And part of what they were doing was connecting to their communities, the places that they built the hotels in. They were also working with local manufacturers. We developed the Grand Hotel exhibition because we felt it would be an opportunity to uh, bring forward different ideas around visual culture. One of the important things that we do is build literacy within visual culture. So we want to provide people with a set of tools that they can look at the things that surround them. Buildings, images, things we encounter almost on a daily basis and yet sometimes slip by us without really thinking critically about it. I think this is really the type of exhibition that requires repeat visits because there's no way that you're going to be able to take it all in in one shot. What Grand Hotel uh, provides is an opportunity to think critically about this important building form, which is the hotel, and how we use it, how it plays an important role in our lives, and how, in fact, it, it starts to shape our lives.